Here it is, the number 95 scroll box. And this box was an extra special scroller box as it features a scroller star, Steph Pardo, or you may know her as Trinkety. And she's made this amazing print for us and even an extra cute little guinea pig adventure postcard so you can send this guinea off on its own adventure. So let's take a closer look at those supplies. This box was also special as we have a new box design. Scrawlazine and the Scrawlazine now has the challenge on the back page. Scrawler sticker, sweet treat, featured artwork and this bonus postcard artwork. Watercolour pad, paintbrush, paper castell liner and this adorable custom Viviva watercolour palette especially for scrawler box. Now let's do some swatching. And for this I'm going to use a spray bottle, my trusty water jam jar and an extra pot of clean water to keep those paints clean. I'll be swatching on the scrawler box watercolour paper, a paper ideally suited to wet mediums. The Viviva watercolours are a handy little palette for on the go, complete with its own little mixing palette. I seem to have got a little paint on here already, so a perfect time to show you how easy it is to wipe clean. Dab a little water to activate that paint and wipe it all off. Easy. Now I'm going to activate the paints in that palette and I'm going to use my spray bottle, just spraying a gentle even mist over each of the pans. But you can of course drop a little water using your paintbrush if you'd prefer. Time to swatch those paints. And as you would come to expect from Viviva, they create a super vivid colour with a single sweep of a wet brush. They blend and mix beautifully and of course the more water you add, the lighter that wash becomes. The paints themselves are held in a compact, lightweight and biodegradable palette made from recycled wine corks and they're 100% vegan. The palette also comes with a little swatch card too. Faber Castell Pit Artist Marker Pen in medium and this has a super bold black ink. This highly regarded artist's pen is suitable for all sorts of sketching and drawing. The nib has a slight flexibility which means you can draw away without it breaking. Let's see how these supplies work together. The pit pen features an India ink that's also waterproof once dry. So once it does dry, you can either paint over it or draw on top of dried paint with confidence. Just make sure that layer underneath is fully dry before going over it. And there we have it, the number 95 scroller box all swatched out. What do you think of this month's box? Let us know in the comments below. And as usual, like and subscribe for more. And remember, keep scrolling.